welcome back to our channel accounts guru cool learn accounting online so today we are here with a new video in which we are going to discuss about foreign exchange gain loss the financial impact of transactions made in foreign currencies so if you do the transaction into the foreign currencies then what's impact is going to be on the transactions that's what we are going to discuss in this video what is a foreign exchange gain loss so why we have to use the term as a foreign exchange gain loss and what's the meaning of that that we are going to discuss in this video how currency exchange affects businesses if the currency is exchange and we are using the our we are doing the business into the two different entities and different countries in multiple currencies then how it's going to be affect that on our business realized and unrealized foreign exchange gain loss so what is mean by realized foreign exchange gain loss and what is unrealized foreign exchange gain loss that we are going to discuss through this video and it's very essential to know that being a finance person to understand what is realized foreign exchange gain loss and what is unrealized foreign exchange gain loss recording foreign exchange transactions how to do the recording of the foreign exchange transactions and and the example of foreign exchange gain and loss so that's all are we are going to discuss in this video so request viewers to watch the video till the end like the video share the video and subscribe our channel and tap the bell icon to get the future video notifications so here we are what is a foreign exchange gain loss a foreign exchange gain loss occurs when a company buys and or sells goods and services in a foreign currency to ye foreign exchange gain loss hai kya to foreign exchange yahan pe the word itself is going to be give the clarity about that foreign exchange so it means that we have to do the exchange of currency into the two different currency or if you if we are in india then we have to do the transactions with the other countries and whatever is that currency if you are giving one example is that if we are in india and doing some sale to us so the currency in this transaction one is in us and we are doing we are doing our accounting into the inr currency so here we are doing the exchange of two currencies so now in this case the foreign exchange gain loss are going to be arise and that currency fluctuates relative to their home currency so it means that the conversion rate of that currency is also is going to be fluctuates relatively to their home currency it can create a differences in value in the monetary assets and liabilities which must be recognized periodically until they are ultimately settled so the foreign exchange gain loss jo hai ye if you uh, are going to understand into the simple word and in a simple way so it means that ki hum jahan pe foreign currency mein transaction kar rahe hai to apna home currency and another one is a foreign currency तो उसमें जो फॉरेन करेंसी का रेट है दैट रेट इज गोइंग टू बी फ्लक्चुएट बिकॉज वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट दैट करेंसी इन टू आवर होम करेंसी टू डू द अकाउंटिंग इन टू द बुक्स एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ परचेस एंड एट द टाइम ऑफ व्हेन वी आर एक्चुअल गोइंग टू डू द पेमेंट एंड व्हेन वी आर सेटलिंग दैट ट्रांजेक्शन तो तब जो एफेक्ट्स गेन लॉस जो फॉरिन करेंसी कन्वर्शन रेट जो रहेगा सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट रीजन जो डिफरेंस आएगा दैट्स गोइंग टू बी कंसिडर एज अ एफेक्स गेन लॉस इन द बुक्स सो आई होप यू गाइज अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ द फॉरिन एक्सचेंज गेन लॉस एंड वेन इट्स गोइंग टू बी अराइज इन द बुक्स नाउ वॉट इज अ फॉरिन एक्सचेंज गेन लॉस सो अगेन द अनदर वे द मीनिंग फॉर दैट इज दैट the difference in the value of the foreign currency when converted to the local currency of the seller is called the exchange rate so the exchange rate so 
what is mean by the exchange rate is that when we are converting that foreign currency into our home currency and whatever rate is we that we are using to convert that foreign currency into our home currency is known as exchange rate for that currency and if the value of the home currency increases after the conversion the seller of the goods will have made a foreign currency gain so the giving the example is that how it's going to be affect and when it's going to be a uh, create the loss and gain however if the value of the home currency declines after the conversion the seller will have incurred a foreign exchange loss if it is impossible to calculate the current exchange rate at the exact time when the transaction is recognized the next available exchange rate can be used to calculate the conversion how currency exchange affects businesses now we need to understand that how it's going to be affects on the businesses the the companies that conduct businesses abroad are continually affected by changes in the foreign currency exchange rate and this applies to businesses that receive foreign currency payments from customers outside the company's home country or those that send payments to suppliers in a foreign currency so the companies or entities who are who are doing the businesses abroad are going to be most of the times is continuously affected because of the change in foreign currency because they are doing the business into the foreign currency so it's going to be affect because of the change in the foreign currency since exchange rates are dynamic it is possible that the exchange rate will be different from the time when the transaction occurs to when it is actually paid and converted to the local currency for example if a us seller sends an invoice worth of dollar 1000 and the customer pays the invoice after 30 days for example if a us seller sends an invoice worth euro 1000 and the customer pays the invoice after 30 days there is a high probability that the exchange rate of euros to us dollars will have changed at least slightly and the seller may end up receiving less or more against the same invoice depending on the exchange rate at the date of recognition of the transaction realize and unrealize foreign exchange gain loss so what is mean by realized and unrealized foreign exchange gain loss so the realized and unrealized gains or losses from foreign currency transactions differ depending on whether or not the transaction has been completed by the end of the accounting period realize gain loss realize gains or losses are the gains or losses on transactions that have been completed it means that the customer has already settled the invoice prior to the close of the accounting period so now here we need to understand that what is realized and what is unrealized foreign exchange gain loss so realized gain or loss it means that before we are going to close the our accounting period we have settled that transactions and we have actually booked the loss on that transactions or gain on that transaction so it means that ki wo actually realize ho chuka hai so now we realized that ki this is foreign exchange gain or loss so it means that agar before going to close the accounting period so before we are going to close the financial period agar uske pehle hi humne us transaction ko settled kiya hua hai it means that so it means that agar humne kuch purchase kiya tha for 1000 dollars and the conversion rate for that is 70 rupees and when 
and we uh, settle the transactions as well and the at the time of doing the settlement of the transactions the conversion rate was around uh, 71 and when we purchased that time the conversion rate was 70 for the thousand dollar so now when we have purchased the conversion rate was 74,000 it means that the in our home currency the amount is 70,000 INR and when we are doing the payment of that transactions the conversion rate has been the conversion rate has been increased to 71 so here the con amount in our home currency we have to do the payment of 71,000 so here that differential amount of 1000 is our actual realized loss so this is this is the understanding of realized gain and loss that is actually realized at the time of doing the settlement of the transactions for example assume that a customer purchased items worth rupees dollar 1000 from a US seller at the invoice date and the customer settles the invoice 15 days after the date the invoice was sent and the invoice is valued at dollar 1100 when converted to US dollars at the current exchange rate it means that the seller will have a realized foreign exchange gain of dollar hundred and the foreign currency gain is recorded in the income sections of the income statement so considering the same we have uh, understood the example from the purchaser standpoint in his books he has to book that 1000 as a foreign exchange loss and now from the seller standpoint he has raised the invoice with the thousand dollar but the conversion rate has change and he got the hundred dollars extra on that so now he has to book that excess amount as gain in his books so this is the example of the realized gain loss now here we are going to understand about unrealized gain and loss so now we understood what is mean by realized gain loss now we are going to understand what is unrealized gain and loss. Unrealized gains or losses are the gains or losses that the seller expects to earn when the invoice is settled but the customer has failed to pay the invoice by the close of the accounting period. The seller calculates the gain or loss that would have been sustained if the customer paid the invoice at the end of the accounting period so here the unrealized gain loss jo hume understand karna hai ye agar at the time of when we are closing the our books so that time we have to reinstate all the balances and to do that and to reinstate that that date's conversion rate we have to use to reinstate that balances and whatever is the fx gain loss that we have to book into that we have to book into our books because that's unrealized gain or loss we haven't done the payment for that but when we are closing the books that time we need to understand that if we want to settled these invoices and we have to do the payment of that invoices then how much we have to do the payment for that and as per that calculations we have to book unrealized gain or loss in our books for example if a seller sends an invoice worth dollar thousand as at the invoice date assume that the customer fails to pay the invoice as of the last day of the accounting period and the invoice is valued at dollar 1100 at this time when preparing the financial statements for the period the transactions will be recorded as an unrealized loss of dollar 100 since the actual payment is yet to be received the unrealized gains or losses 
are recorded in the balance sheet under the owner's equity sections. So now recording foreign exchange transactions. When preparing the annual financial statements, companies are required to report all transactions in their home currency to make it easy for all stakeholders to understand. It means that it means that all transactions carried out in foreign currencies must be converted to the home currency at the current exchange rate when the businesses recognizes the transactions. So at the time of when we are closing our the books, we have to do the reporting of all the transactions, all the numbers into our home currency. And we have to convert that foreign currency numbers into our home currency and we have to do the reporting for that. Example of foreign exchange gain loss. Therefore, the gains or losses from the currency conversion can be calculated as follows. So here, uh, if you see, we have considered the examples of one is for the particular USD conversion rate and INR. So we have given the example of the home currency as INR and the example is that sales to US. We have done the sales to US and the USD of amount for that invoice is $1000 and the conversion rate is 70. So the INR value for the $1000 is 70,000 and the for the same invoice if we received the payment and the invoice amount was thousand dollars and the conversion rate at the time of when we received the payment is 65 rupees so in INR we got only the 6500 65,000 instead of 6500 we have to read that as a 65,000 so now here so here straight away the loss so in this first transactions the sales value with 70,000 in INR and when we are receiving the same amount due to the conversion rate is fluctuate from 70 to 65 we got in INR only the 65,000 so here we have the loss of around 5,000 INR so this is our actual or realized loss now from the second transactions if we purchase from us that's a thousand dollar and the conversion rate is again 70 so in inr we have booked the 70 thousands but at the time of when we are doing the payment so we paid thousand dollar and conversion rate is 65 so in the inr it's going to be convert into the 65 thousands so now in these transactions due to fluctuation of the conversion rate from 70 to 65 we have earned 5000 as a foreign gain on these transactions and this is a actual realized gain so this is the example of foreign exchange gain loss example of foreign exchange gain loss so company abc is a US based business that manufactures motor vehicle spare parts for Bugatti and Maybach vehicles. The company sells spare parts to its distributors located in the United Kingdom and France. During the last financial year, ABC sold Euro 1 lakh worth of spare parts to France and GBP 1 lakh to the United Kingdom. At the time of sending the invoice, one GBP was equivalent to 1.3 US dollars and while one euro was equivalent to 1.1 US dollars. When the payment for the invoice were received, one GBP was equivalent to 1.2 US dollars and while one euro was equivalent to 1.15 dollars. So here we are. So foreign exchange gain loss. So what we have learned from this video is that what is a foreign exchange gain loss how currency exchange affects on businesses realized and unrealized foreign exchange gain loss recording foreign exchange transactions and example of foreign exchange gain 
loss thanks for watching the video till the end request viewers to like the video share the video and subscribe our channel and tap the bell icon to get the future video notification thank you